to speak There barely was a lesson learned Cause it will return no favors back to me I'm sure it tasted oh so sweet But it was never good enough for me I bit the tongue behind my teeth It was never good enough for me You say you always keep your word Show me what you're after I thought you promised me the way Hi guys, it's me, Knight Rider 7602 here reviewing a Sound of Thunder. Um, I watched this movie in my language arts class. This movie, it's a fairly, it's a decent movie, a good one hour and so minutes. Uh, this movie is basically based off a uh, little short story called A Sound of Thunder Derp. Of course, that's what it's called. Well, let's get into the plot of this before I get into any review. This movie basically is about a company that offers time traveling. Now, on this time travel team is a guy named Travis. Now, one day Travis takes a group of people to go shoot a um, dinosaur. And now what happens is when they come back, the whole... Their world goes all a wall. Plants are growing out. Dinosaur, dinosaur, freaking monkeys! I am not joking. Dinosaur, fucking monkeys! I mean, they're a hybrid of dinosaurs and monkeys. Dimonkeyus, Dimonkosaurus. Anyways, basically, the whole movie is about them trying to figure out what went wrong during their last mission and try to fix everything before. Human history itself is wiped out. Now, the um, story was a short, and basically there were a lot of changes, so a little bit of comparison first. In the um, short story, we had a, they had a president, and in this movie, we, we hear no, nothing, no hide or hair or worried about a president. All we hear are, like, plants are growing mad insanely, and we get Dimunkasaurus, whatever, I do not know what it's called. And we also got, uh, it's a long story, Matt. What was the other, oh, yes. Here's another funny thing. The, um, in this picture here, you can see him walking on the path in the, um, past. What hap what is that is the path. You're supposed to stay on it. If you walk off, you wind up fucking up everything into oblivion. Which is kind of what happened in the entire movie. Everything just go ape shit from the beginning. Not Okay. Now you're wondering, like, oh, really? But this movie is good, right? Okay, the movie was made in 2005, 2006. So we're talking the graphics for this movie. We're talking maybe okay. Probably Peter Jackson, okay, maybe. But you be the judge of that if you find a movie at your own local um, movie store or Netflix or what have you. Now, this movie, I really, in the, in the opinion of seeing this, was amazed. I mean... That's the Munkasaurus I'm talking about. It looks like a mix between a baboon and a guana. Babuana. Babuana. Now, um, I wanted to say this movie was okay, but you see, I had a few flaws with it. Besides from it being completely different from the story, I think um, most importantly, the thing that I would like to discuss is why on earth would we use lasers? I understand it's the future, but why not bullets? Lasers? Though I, I know, 2005, obsessed with space technology lasers. They have to fire their laser, if you get my reference. But I would like to say this movie is a nice, uh, good little keep going, keep going until you finally figure out what the fuck went wrong. And now, here's the thing. Um, yeah, this is the, um, Travis, yeah, lady, scream, he squeal, whatever, I have no idea who this guy is. Um, though I do know one of the characters in this movie played the old guy in the Prince of Persia movie. Go fig. Now, 
this whole movie, the only funny thing I could actually find with this movie is what caused all of this was somebody stepped off the path, yes, but somebody killed a butterfly. They killed, they killed a butterfly and brought it back into the future, which fucked everything up madly. Uh, like, one butterfly had caused a whole mess of stuff to happen. Now, I would spoil who stepped off the I would spoil who stepped off the path, but I'll spoil the movie. You have to read it. It's completely different. This guy from the guy from the other jump, Mr. Milton, was the one that stepped off the path. And he goes ape shit after getting stung by these thorns that's supposed to make people go in madly insane. And most likely he killed himself. Now you're wondering, oh, how did this movie end? The movie ended by Travis going backwards in time to the actual minute where the guy stepped off the path and saved him. Wow. And the, and they completely fixed history itself, causing, causing everything to be undone, reversed, and let's just say we show government corruption. Now, the movie does kind of point out, like, government corruption and killing animals is against the law. Do you know in the future we still have PETA? PETA. Yeah, we still have PETA in the future. Um, though I did watch this movie in my language arts class, this was an okay movie. I, in my opinion, I would say it would be okay if we take out the cheesy graphics. The graphics were cheesy a little bit. And, in my opinion, the scene looks like it should have been, like, in a CGI film. Like, you know, CGI. It should be, like, CGI'd more. It, it, made it, it should have been looked more like a real city than, like, CGI'd. Because it looked like you were in one of those CGI movies. Now, to conclude this is basically The Sound of Thunder. Is it worth watching? If you can get past the cheesy graphics... I say this movie is kind of watchable. I mean, it's epic. It gets suspenseful sometimes. A few jump scares. There's only there are probably one or, one to two jump scares in this movie. And yeah, this movie's okay. I personally liked it. It was an okay movie. Even though it was like based off a short story and they fleshed it out. I'm movies that adaptations and stuff kind of work and they don't. Just watch my other video. I'll tell you about that one. But as I'm running out of time here, I'm reaching my 8 minute mark. This is a super short review. I'm preparing for my other review for Common Rider after this video. And well, let's just rate The Sound of Thunder. The Sound of Thunder, if we can get past all its cheesy graphics and... Oh yeah, quick thing. If people own a Game Boy, there is a video game for this. Surprisingly, there's a video game for this, for the Game Boy Advance. But okay, looking past that. Now, this movie is okay. If you get past the cheesy graphics, you can you can basically live with it. I'll give it a I'll give it a 6 because of the cheesy graphics and the city should have been more realistic looking. And as a for kind of a suspenseful epic time, but it gets a 1 plus for time travel be and I love time travel. So it gets a 7 for the time traveling. Well, this is the end. Night Rider 7602 signing out. Bye, and catch my DK review.